Hi, this is the weekly horoscope for Capricorn for the week of October 16th, 2023. Hello, my Cappies. I am available for yearly six-month reports, natal chart reports, and compatibility reports, so be sure to check that out in the link in the description box below. You got to scroll all the way down for it because that's where I keep all my natal chart reports. So mm, check that out. Poseidon this week is opposing your fifth house with your 11th house this week. And you have a bit of a stellum going on with Scorpio. And so this is a busy time with the 10th and 11th house with career. You don't like to be figured out at this time. Other people could be trying to get to know you, especially new people or people that you don't necessarily talk to and that you find fake um, could be trying to talk to you at this time. So you can be a little bit of a smart mouth this week. When it comes to certain people who are trying to be nice to you or trying to get to know you at this time or trying to get along for the sake of getting along, but you're not having it. For others of you, you can be um, a bit antisocial with this energy here. And you could also, um, oh, my beautiful wannabe Mancoon cat, Zunde, Zunde, Zundabar. And not Zandabar, the candy. You know what I'm saying. Not Zandies. This is like, you know, the bazaar in the Middle East called Zundabar. Yes, because... He just miraculously showed up, and he's just been the greatest thing. You know, kind of like the bazaar. You go in there, it's like, ah, gold. <laughs> so anyways, when it comes to certain people who are trying to be nice or trying to get to know you at this time, you're not having it. You can be antisocial here. You could also be um, seen as being very difficult at this time. If the wrong people come to you for information or wanting information, you're very reluctant to share and give, okay? Um, um, to certain people alrighty so you could be you have a square going on um, going on no an opposition going on between the fourth and tenth house of course between the Stellum and Libra with this energy and the north node in Aries at this time squaring Pluto so you know you may have a difficult time with your partner with this time period you may have a difficult time with the men in your life with this energy you could have a difficult time with your marriage with this energy here as well um, this person could be giving you the silent treatment or they may not know what they want from you at this time as well you could be dealing with a Libra with this energy and you may have to deal with corruption or scandal at work authority seems misplaced at this time your ambitions to get ahead is stimulated you may have power struggles with those in a support in um with your superiors because of insubordination that means that you're going to go off and do your own thing because you feel right and justified because you didn't pick up your phone on time you didn't answer my emails so i just went ahead and did it and i just went ahead above your head and yeah that kind of thing okay then on the 17th you could have a difficult time interacting with strangers, work or practice on being friendly and not blowing people off when they're trying to make small talk with you because you are not having it at all. Or someone could be joking around with you and you can make it, you can make something so offensive. It can sound so offensive with this energy because you're going to take it, twist it, and bop it and make it something totally offensive. So careful, um, not the best time for being on the internet because you could be fighting with the trolls this week. The fourth house is not well aspected with the tenth house at all all at this time there could be severe power struggles going on either with work family members especially father father side of the family your husband so this could be you not feeling like you're getting the recognition or your thank you at this time um, you could feel like other people are being a little bit snarky with this energy. So you could be feeling some kind of damn way expect to be butting heads with other people those of you um, let me see. You're not seeing your numbers up or you, who own businesses. You're not seeing things happening or you don't feel like you're making enough money here or growth at this time. Subscribe to my channel and share. Um, it's like a lot of people are complaining about you at this time. So, you know, you could be feeling some kind of way. You could be reevaluating your career. You could be reevaluating your business direction at this time with this energy. Then on the 18th, you have a water trine happening with Mars conjunct Apollo and Scorpio in the 11th house with Saturn in Pisces in the third house Vesta in your seventh in your seventh house 
in your 11th house. So at this time, there's a sense of duty, there's a sense of commitment to your goals, or even to your relationships. And you can be helping friends um, with crisis at this time, or you can be more invested in your children and what's going on in their life and participating more in their life and being a nurturer and a guide for them. Um, you can be taking on other people's responsibilities this week. You have greater clarity at this time, so pay attention to your dreams. You can feel grounded with this energy. This can also be career growth happening with work. You have a great level of self-control and you tend to try to keep yourself out of the drama at this time. Then on the 19th, for some of you, this is mis someone's misfortune is the, your gain. So someone could be getting fired or you could be moving up in the ranks because of this person getting fired. You could be the next in line for something, that kind of thing. Anything from your past is holding you back from growth may be taken away from you at this time. Let it go, Elsa. Don't fight for it. Don't sue for it. Just let it go because it's holding you back, okay? Some people in your life may resist the changes because they're also comfortable with things the way they are. But some people um, here are going to have an evolutionary journey at this time. You will have arguments and power struggles now. So it's essential to take a cold, hard look at your life and sort out the old from the new. You must evolve now and leave the decaying past behind. A friendship can be ending abruptly. Um, you two may have been butting heads since the 19th. And now you two are going to be like, um, like, um, just like, not even like friends anymore. So this could be like dealing with like a coworker at this time that you could be butting heads with. Then on the 20th, there's a pro this is a very productive time for you. You can find that you can have a lot of, um, you can get a lot done with the moon in Capricorn. A great time for tackling certain responsibilities that you have been able to get or declutter your house. Careful how much you put on your plate um, or what you obligate yourself to because you can find that you have been losing time or you're set for yourself, or you may be doing too much. Compromise should be sought in issues related to career. Seek now to make sound foundations for your future. You may have difficulty with superiors. For some of you here, this is not the best time to go having conversations with those in authority. You're just not going to get your way this week. They don't want to hear it at this time. So they are not helping you out whatsoever. So it's just best to just keep to yourself. Chiron in retrograde opposing the 10th house at this time, especially with the men in your life you could find yourself really butting heads with them um, here with this energy and getting to power struggles authority can be placing restrictions on you your parents or your husband could be replacing restrictions on you at this time about what you can and cannot do at this time with this energy here as well and you can or not even doing that but you can also feel restricted or or oppressed at this time so you could be acting out with this energy here so try to be about bigger picture before you go blowing up on other people at this time yes you're being kept out of the loop about certain things that are going on at work. Yes, you're being on a needs to know knows basis. Yes, I know you need to feel important. Yes, I know you need to have some kind of emotional validation so you can continue, but maybe you don't. And maybe you just need to make ego smaller and just be in service to others at this time. So this is something to think about. And that's very difficult to sit there, you know, like what I do for a living. This is very difficult to be in service to others. And you guys, like, I only got like a handful of you Capricorns, like, watching this video, you know, not even a hundred, just a handful of you. And yet I continue doing what I'm doing because, you know, in my chart, it says I need to be in service. And this is the way I be in service to others to help them make better decisions, to help them avoid the pitfalls of their astrology and to help them grow you know, and to help them rise above their consciousness, you know, so I think I bring about individual changes, you know, and I touch and inspire other people to try astrology, to trust the tarot and stuff like that, so that's what I do with my handful of 50 people, and I continue, I don't bitch, I say please like, subscribe, and share, some of you do, some of you don't even like, like, one person liked the Capricorn video from last week, I mean, Come on now. So if I can do this and give myself to service and not expect a thank you from any of you, not expect anything, then you guys should be doing the same thing too and practice that, okay? Practice letting go of ego, consciousness, needing to feel important, needing to feel like you're somebody and just humble it down. Okay, so practice that. That is your homework. All right. <laughs>
So the first card I come up with is the Six of Swords. This is a time of moving forward. This is also a time of traveling. Get the hell out of your damn head because it's not the place to be. The Seven of Coins, something heavy on your mind. You may feel like traveling during this time period as well the four of Co cups you can be delving more into self-care and self-love and working on cultivating your self-esteem the nine of cups my yes card to our question i did not answer is yes this week the four of coins this is stability this is delving into your responsibilities at this time with this energy this could also be about securing the bag money worries travel is emphasized for some of you here for some of you this could also be online dating especially those of you who are um like 40 and under this is you like long distance dating or talking to somebody online at this time with this energy okay the death card a purging is happening here okay so certain things may no longer apply in your life anymore the eight of coins i feel for some of you here you could be more focused on career during this time period as well with this energy i feel for some of you here this is a great time for musicians here or developing more of a musical skill or you like being like self-taught with this energy here as well okay so it's a beautiful time for that and learning new things, okay? Learning certain disciplines at this time. For some of you, you could be packing up and moving to another city for a fresh start or relocating for a different state because of a new job, okay? I see new beginnings involved. I see sadness, but this will be new beginnings coming up for you. The Sun card. Oh my goodness, my cat Zandy being trouble. The Sun card, you can be a perfectionist when it comes to your career with this energy here as well. The Hangman card, indecisions are coming up. So you may not sure, you could be like on the fence because Stellum and Libra, you could have like a lot of ideas that you want to do at this time so you're not doing anything with this energy and you're still sitting on your hands now not because of pluto is direct and like i said on the 27th you're going to start getting more more motivated to move and to do things that you want to do and to apply your ideas but for now libra stellum and libra you are more sitting on your hands so until we hit that 11th house and the stellum starts going into the 11th house you're just sitting on your hands i give it till october 27th when you become more motivated and start taking more initiative in your life. The Magician card, as above, so below. For some of you, this is dealing with separation or loss. You could be thinking about family members who have passed on at this time and still grieving them and missing them. For others of you, an ex, oh my God, this cat. An ex could be coming back into the picture at this time with this energy here. For some of you, you may intrigue this. For others of you, you could be like, get the hell away and call the cops and get a restraining order. The Justice card, a time for destiny here with this energy. And you could be all about destiny at this time with this energy the page of swords I feel for some of you here it doesn't mean this at all but I feel like there could be a new connection or a new opportunity presenting themselves to you this could be more of a new connection with somebody new coming into your life during this time period as well I feel like a friendship could turn into a love relationship and I said this for some of you that have gotten readings um, from me so I do still feel like that is happening here so continue talking to whoever you're talking to or this week you may start like um, striking up a new friendship with somebody here that you find very interesting and this could be online as well okay so it could be very interesting you may like talking to this person I do feel like you could be gaining perspective or your opinion about somebody could be changing as well and it could be this person and your opinion about them could be changing and you could be seeing them in a new light maybe they had to grow up evolve and change in order for you to see them in a different way okay so maybe whatever they had to go through and be away from you they had to evolve so they can come back to you okay and come back into your movie the queen of cups for some of you this could be reevaluating relationships at this time for some of you i do see you dealing with a water sign and you don't know whether or not you want to intrigue this person at this time you could be talking to this person for some of you here as well and getting to know this person but you don't know what you want to do with this person just yet so it's going to be after the 27th when you're going to finally make up your mind about what you want to do with this person or what this person means to you in your life so you're really like sitting on you're really like questioning a lot of things you're you're very cautious at this time and you're not so quick to jump into new things into your life especially new relationships the star card manifesting what you want at this time a great time for wishes to come true okay this could be certain things working themselves out you could be volunteering 
volunteering your time and energy here and giving back to the community here with this energy. You can be more about activism at this time or protesting with this energy. The King of Cups reconnecting, so wish fulfillment. You could be reconnecting with somebody that you wanted to talk to for some of you, okay? For some of you, not all of you. The Two of Cups. I feel like for some of you, you do have an intense connection with this person, and this person has a really intense connection with you. This is a great time for starting a new new connection. I do see you being happy in love with this energy. The Eight of Wands, I do feel like you could be manifesting love into your life or manifesting something into your life at this time. I see traveling coming up, and I do see like really good news coming your way during this time period as well. The Six of Coins, let me see. I feel like you can be very generous at this time. This could be a situation here where you're more about other people's problems and your problems tend to get re resolved during this time period. The King of Wands, you can be dealing with a third party situation here as well. So for some of you here, this could be a water sign energy and then you could be dealing with like a Leo energy or a fire sign and this person could be stuck in their ways of thinking or still wanting you back or you could be married to this person and still in a relationship with this person as well, okay? Um, but I feel like, you know, this fire sign situation here, that could be over with, okay? And you could be trying to decide what you want to do with this energy. Because I do feel like there's a deep connection happening with you and another person during this time period. The Fool card, I feel like you need to stop complaining and appreciate what you have. Because for some of you here, I feel like maybe because it's the monotony of your routine here, maybe it's because we're not seeing changes happening quick enough because Saturn is still in Pisces and then we we got this damn stellum and Libra. So, and I feel like, you know, you're not appreciating your present. You're not appreciating the things that you have. Some of you, you are, but you're complaining. Um, and especially those of you who are 40 and younger you're complaining about like whatever and then everybody else is looking at all your good and wishing that they had your life okay I do see new love around you here okay those of you who are 40 and younger and for those of you who are 30 and younger I see that this could be taboo love because this person um, your parents may not agree with this person or this they may not like this person for some of you this could be going back to the ex and they may not like this person for you for others of you this is a fun time for love with this energy here this is creating your own reality. I see more money coming in for you, mastering your money situation. You could be saving your money at this time with this energy. The two of coins, burning the candles at both ends of the stick. You can be indecisive when it comes to certain things, especially love for others of you. When it comes to career, you're delving into certainty. I feel, again, mastering your money situation. Traveling could be coming up. Um, I see recognition, success, fame, getting a lot of attention at this time in regards to career. You may have options when it comes to career growth. I feel for some of you, a great time for investment opportunities coming up for you during this time period as well with this energy here. Um, and I do feel like, you know, this is unrequited love or reconnecting with somebody from your past. This could also be obsessed about the ex for some of you. And revelations, this could be putting things in perspective about this person. And this could be bringing about healing and letting go of this person as well for some of you not all of you all right i love you my cappies show your love and support to your girl marie by liking subscribing and sharing kisses